A full-scale war continues in Ukraine, and as a result of the operation of Ukrainian troops in the Kursk region of Russia, hundreds of Russian soldiers have been taken prisoner, most of whom are conscripts. The Ukrainian prison located in Sumy, as of Friday, August the 16th, processed 330 prisoners of war, 80% of them conscripts, writes the New York Times. The publication found out that after processing, the prisoners were sent west, away from the combat zone. According to the Ukrainian military, there were 71 prisoners of war in the prison on Friday. They were placed in basement cells where they are protected from possible airstrikes, the article notes. Journalists spoke to the prisoners of war in the presence of guards who did not interfere in the conversation and stood at a distance. The prisoners were dressed in worn tracksuits, t-shirts and shorts that were issued to them. Some of them had gunshot or shrapnel wounds. Prisoners described being placed in platoons of about 30 men in concrete or earthen fortifications spaced a mile apart along the border. There they encountered a sudden violent attack and quickly gave up the fight, the New York Times shared. According to the publication, the Russian border in the Kursk region was mainly guarded by conscripts. It was poorly protected. I never thought that this would happen, commented on the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region captured Private Vasily. The occupier survived the attack by our troops, lay in a birch forest near the border for three days, covered with branches and leaves, and then decided to surrender. Recall in early August, Ukrainian soldiers began an offensive in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. More than 80 settlements have already been liberated and a military commandment's office has been created. There are liquidated invaders in the Kursk region and information has emerged about a large number of captured Russian soldiers. Sky News analyst Michael Clark said that soldiers of the 488th Rifle Regiment of the Russian Federation, most of whom were conscripts, began to flee during a clash with a large unit of the Ukrainian army and Kadyrov's men opened fire on them. The expert added that the occupiers who tried to escape then surrendered. Russian President Vladimir Putin has not received a word of support for the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive in the Kursk region from any of the countries the Kremlin considers friendly, with the exception of Bashar al-Assad regime in Syria, which Russia helped to keep in power. Even the unrecognized president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, is trying to maneuver, limiting himself to statements that he is for peace, writes the Moscow Times. The Belarusian leader noted that he would not use nuclear weapons until the border of the Union state was crossed. However, the border has already been crossed since the Russian Federation, including the Kursk region, is part of this union. Belarus has not directly taken part in the conflict between Moscow and Kiev, having called for negotiations instead. However, at the start of Moscow's military campaign in February 2022, it allowed the Russian military to use its territory to launch an offensive on Kiev. Relations between Belarus and Ukraine have been strained ever since. Other countries that are part of the pro-Russian military alliance, CSTO, have not commented at all on the events taking place. In the Kursk region, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan have not made any statements on this matter. China, with which Kremlin officials constantly talk about a strategic partnership, responded to the military actions near Kursk only on August the 12th, that is, a week after the start of the Ukrainian offensive, and limited itself to a statement about monitoring the current situation. In response to a media request to comment on the situation in the Kursk region, the Chinese foreign ministry called on all parties to adhere to the principles of cooling the situation. Recall the CSTO secretariat stated that the Russian Federation did not make a request for assistance in connection with the Ukrainian Armed Forces Offensive in the Kursk region. They noted that they intend to monitor the development of the situation.